As the Israel-Hamas war escalates, we checked in with law enforcement agencies across North Texas who all say they are not aware of any known threats. Police departments in Plano, Irving, and Dallas say they are increasing patrols at local synagogues, mosques, and other houses of worship. This is a live look at the Gaza skyline where it's early Wednesday morning. Israeli forces are massing up for a potential ground invasion and the death toll has soared past 1,900 people. That includes 14 Americans with at least 20 more unaccounted for. U.S. officials believe at least some of them are being held hostage by Hamas. President Biden spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today, making it clear the U.S. stands with Israel in its war against Hamas terrorists. Civilians have already paid a heavy price, and today Israeli forces got a first-hand look at the brutality. Soldiers entered this kibbutz on the southern border, going door-to-door -to, -door to retrieve bodies after villagers were massacred by militants. And new images show Israel fulfilling its promise to lay siege to Gaza. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant is facing criticism after cutting off access to electricity, food, and water, and saying, quote, we are fighting human animals and will act accordingly.